Hi, it's Saturday the 16th of May 2020 and I'm back but I'm not in Target and it's taken some serious thinking on my part about what is Target, why did I set Target, why did I keep dropping my Target, what do I want my Target to be in the future or even do I want a Target and I've talked this through with a couple of people who um, have been with me on my journey and my thinking today is like I don't want a target. Um, the state of my head, my mental health and everything, having a target has put me under so much pressure. Do you know, when I, when I first got to target, well I joined Slimming World in May 2015 and got to my first target in December 2015. And looking back, I guess even though I say this is an ongoing journey, that's a never ending journey and all that, Something in your heart or your mind says to you, you've done it, you're there, you've cracked it, girl. And I think it's gracious of Slimming World to give us that three pounds either side, but it is a reality, isn't it? They're giving us what they hope is a reality. If we want to stay at a healthy weight, we need to choose where we want to be and then focus on staying there. And do you know one of the worst things I think that came out for me and I forgot to set a timer, just bear with me. Hey Google, set a timer for nine minutes. All right, nine minutes, starting now. This is to stop me waffling on forever. Yeah, I think one of the worst things that has come into my orbit during this journey of maintaining has been the book for target members. Because in that book, there are three options. You've got your A, your B, your C, and it all depends on how many pounds you lost each week on the, I think it's eight weeks leading up to your actual target. Well, because I'd been at target over three years before that book came out, but I still thought I should be able to use that book, and I can't. And the reality is I can't, because I've had targets of 11 stone 11, 10 stone 10, 9 stone 9, and 9 stone. And Looking at that book and trying those different options, there isn't one of them that works for me because the minute I start, sorry, I'm doing this, but it's the way I talk best. I talk with my hands. I try not to, but it's me. The minute I start to try and add things in, then I'm not living in a deficit or on an even playing field. I'm actually increasing my calorie intake and my weight goes up. Whether this is because I've been overweight for such a long time and I'm not young anymore, whether it's because I'm postmenopausal and my body reacts differently because I have no oestrogen, I don't know. I don't want to go into the science of that. I just know that's what happens to me. So what I need to do to stay at a healthy weight is diet. And it's a dirty word, isn't it, diet? Dare I eat this or whatever, however you want to view it. The word diet is much abused. And it used to be that we have a certain sort of diet. That's what I want to find for myself, a certain sort of eating plan, a certain sort of diet. And I know that Slimming World gives me the parameters to do that. But I also know that when my head starts to get resentful, as in why couldn't I work one of those three plans, as in why can't I eat whatever I want, as in this is a stressful time of life, I should be able to have whatever I like. I know I'm going to gain weight. It's a reality. If we eat more calories than we are expending, we will gain weight. Now, we've just been for our usual hill walk this morning, an hour and a quarter of up five or six good hills and everything, and I feel great. But that only burns about 300 calories, because we've used the heart monitor, we've worked it out. Unless I am going to be a really active person, my calorie level does not need to be at around 1800, which is where I was most of the time, 17, 1800. But likewise, I don't want to go into diet mode as in deprivation station. So what I'm trying to do at the moment is just find my way around food, focusing on free foods, rather than, well, free food and speed food, but not putting the emphasis on the speed, putting the emphasis on the free, trying to overcome fears around carbs and stuff like that. I want to be able to eat carbs. I enjoy them. And I don't want to live in that place where, oh my God, if I eat rice, I'm going to get fat. Oh my God, if I eat potatoes, I'm going to get fat. Those things don't make you fat. They really don't. I think there's too much out there that's fear-mongering. For me, right, this is my plan. 
So I've been vegetarian now for 46 days, it's my 46th day and so far I am loving it and I find a real freedom in it because I'm not making myself eat meat to please other people or because it's the normal. I don't think there is a normal anymore. In the world we're living in at the moment, I think a lot of us are learning there isn't a normal anymore. You have to do what's right for you. Don't be influenced too much by me or anybody else. Find your own way, do what works for you. Somebody I was listening to, I think it was Chef AJ, said, find the food plan that gives you the least deprivation. Now, I couldn't eat her food plan, she probably wouldn't want to eat mine. But find the food plan that feels like the least deprivation. And I think being vegetarian, for me, I'm allowed to eat plenty of food and I'm not fearful of it. So that's, that's been a really good thing over the last six weeks. So that's come out of me not being around for 14 weeks. Um, I, I noticed a few people have been watching the 14 catch-up videos. I needed to keep making those videos because I didn't need a great gap in my vlogging uh, life. Otherwise I might never have come back. And saying I was going to come back at Target was my intention, but it just wasn't going to happen. You know, I could have carried on the way I'm carrying on. I might have not been back this side of Christmas. I might have been a bit like Slimming World Groups, absence for, absent for probably the next six months. <laughs> so I needed to keep vlogging. When I first started, it wasn't my intention to upload them, but then I thought, hey, why not? Because they're for my record, but I chose to put them public. Um, it's my story. So my story this week is, or well, the update on my story is, I have asked my Slim and World Consultant to take off my nine stone target. I may never set another target. I just don't know at this time. But I do know that I will not be setting a target before we go back to group. And when I do, it will not be any higher than nine stone. I'm not looking to remove my target so I can come back and say, reset it at nine stone 10. I'm back in target so I don't have to pay. It's not about paying or not paying. I prefer to pay. I've had a discussion with my consultant this week and I am in a better headspace when I'm paying my way. Um, at the moment, it's, um, I'm on a countdown so you get two weeks um, for every countdown week. That'll change in June, I think. But we'll see. Things are changing, and change is good. So, yeah, that's the, the thing about where I'm at and my target. Um, my weight this week. Right, so I'm not 100% back on plan. I'm not going to stand here and tell you I am. I was probably 75% on plan this week. Was that better than the week before? No, not really. But this week, I lost three and a half pounds. That's the bit I have to be very careful with because all in all, my week was very little different to the week before. Probably improved, let's say a 10% improvement because maybe the week before I was 65% on plan. So maybe a 10% improvement, but uh, it's, I had the week before I had a half pound gain, this week I had a three and a half pound loss. That's the insanity of the human body and you just have to go with that, don't you? Um, I know that I'm at a reasonably healthy weight, I'm 10 stone and half a pound. Once I go over nine stone 10, I'm out of a healthy BMI. So I come out of the healthy weight into the, I suppose, overweight category, which, which feels very odd and I don't like it. So I know that, you know, I wanna work on getting back to a BMI around 24, but I don't know what weight that would have me. I need to work that out. I know that I've got plans going forward in the future. I know that my confidence in Slimming World has not been knocked. I know this is a plan for me for life and I have no intention of trying anything else. But there are so many plans out there that work. The key is to work it, isn't it? So if I want this plan to work for me and I want to get back into a healthy weight category, um, then I just need to work it. And my reality is no different to anybody else's. It's easier not to work it. It's easier to think, I'll start again tomorrow. I need to overcome those sort of feelings. So I'm back and um, I'm happy to be back. Um, my videos probably won't be as long as they used to be because I'm, I'm much more like, want to keep my content to just my weight loss journey. And I say weight loss journey now because I'm not on a maintenance journey. I'm not even kidding myself that I am. I'm not going to call myself a Target member. I'm just a Slimming World member, like everybody else. 
and that works for me at the moment. I never documented my weight loss journey in the first place. I didn't start vlogging until I was actually at Target. So this time it does actually feel quite different, but I don't want to put any pressure on myself to have to come on here every week and say I've had a loss. Because in reality, that is not gonna happen, you know? Not that life gets in the way, but I get in the way. And I make poor choices sometimes because I'm not perfect. But that's all right too, because it's living, it's living. And for too many years, I just existed thinking that when I'm slim, I'm gonna do this. When I'm slim, I'm gonna do that. And you know, I got to be slim. I didn't do most of it. So now, stop. I do intend to get myself a Pilates teacher when we're out of the lockdown. I do intend to make some changes in my life. But they will come and things will go and life goes on. So, see you next Saturday. Cheers.